everybody, my name is Tasca, and today the world we know it is falling apart. Now, I don't really want to accuse anyone or say anything, but a lot of things have been said and I've heard a lot of stuff and seen a lot of stuff and a lot of stuff has been verified even though some people will not acknowledge the truth but the truth is there's a lot of people that are YouTubers and they're very high up and they're not very good people now that being said a lot of the cute ones, a lot of the nice ones whatever you want to consider them from any kind of perspective they're not great people but there is some that are good but most of them ruin it for others making them probably look like you know how do we know you're a good person what is taking over the world let's be realistic even though some people disagree with this drugs drugs is causing a lot of bad things to happen alcohol does it as well there are manipulators in society that do this stuff now recently I watched a video which was Keemstar's video and it was to do with Tabuscus. Now why do I believe this story? Well let's face the facts. If you know Tabuscus and the way he talks and you read his messages that he wrote to her even though her story is like how can we be sure? You actually know for certain that it's real. It's just how how can I put this? It's just mind-boggling that these people, these people that are icons, would do this terrible stuff and utilize their power to manipulate people and control their lives. I I don't know how they can go around their lives just doing this stuff. And from my perspective, I feel like I'm one of those people that has to get up there and be like a hero, but why should I? I don't have the resources to do anything. The only thing I have is my skill sets which do not relate to talking and communicating to people. I can't make people happy. I can't do that stuff. Naturally, I'm not that good at it. I have to be quite stupid and silly, but you know, these people you probably think, ah, oh, they're doing it because they're naturals at it. You know, drugs, they make people so funny, it's not, it's, it's, I'm not even kidding. I have a neighbour who says when he does alcohol, he, he drinks alcohol, one glass is enough to make him so funny that you'll be laughing all through the night. He told me stories about back in the 60s, the 70s, the 80s, you know, you could say all the words under the sun and make funny jokes. You had no choice but to laugh. And these days, it's considered racist or, you know, really terrible. You know, you're not a nice person. But the idea back then was to make people happy and laugh, and that's why people kept doing it. Then it got to a day and age where it wasn't good anymore. And now we're coming to a point where, you know, people know about drugs and how they're bad. I know people in real real life that like drugs and do drugs and sometimes they say these drugs are shit. Well, I don't want to point people out because, you know, it's it's just I don't want to hurt them and they know that they shouldn't do it, but, you know, that they do it knowing that, you know, I'm going to stop someday, you know. Drugs haven't killed no one yet. That's all they've got proof of is, you know, there's less people dying from drugs than cigarettes. I mean, they have chemicals in cigarettes where drugs don't have that stuff. But, you know, I still don't agree because there is a condition. There are conditions under which drugs do kill people. There are conditions where they actually are very useful and helpful. Drugs can be considered medicine rather than drugs if used in the right aspects. Sometimes people are prescribed drugs for medical conditions which are like really depressing and they make you happy, like make you really weirdly happy and smiling and all this stuff. That's the conditions that they sometimes give you drugs and then others are to get your lungs to open up and allow you to breathe. You take one whiff of whatever the drug was, smoke it, and you're good for a whole night's sleep sort of thing. But the things I've seen, the things I'm hearing, it's... 
Oh my god. It's just... I, I don't even have words for it. They're the most stupid idiots there are on in the world. They're in a position of power and they could fall over so easy and if they end up at the bottom well they're not gonna have these things anymore their luxury is over and you know why they're so stupid their luxury will end they won't have hot cars they won't have nice houses they won't be able to rent or anything they'll, they'll struggle with their lives if you're in a position like me you don't have a job and you're living at home you probably know how hard it is to own a car. Pretty darn hard. But from where I stand with my car, I, I find it very easy to maintain and run, but I find it hard not to drive it because there's nothing really... It, it's fun to drive. I mean, I've had alcohol, but I've never had drugs. And I don't like smokes because, you know, I've had to breathe that crap in for the last... 20 years since I was born sort of thing and that stuff has been awful I don't like it I would never smoke I've tried alcohol and you know and on the occasion I'll have red wine that's all I would have but I've had other alcohols to try and see how far I can go you know to be honest I do not like drinking it's it slows you down it doesn't make me feel different at all it just makes me feel worse so I feel like sometimes that stuff is not beneficial to anyone. It's an excuse to some people, but it's not to others. Because, you know, it does manipulate some people's minds, the weak minds that there are in the world. I don't have a weak mind. My mind's pretty solid. But it does know when things are going wrong. Such as when, you know, things start feeling weird. I mean, I've had the most drinks I've ever had in my life, which was about five, six, and that's about ten standard drinks, and oh my god. That was just crazy, and I had to run all the way to the train station, catch a train, go home, and then get home. And it was also the last train, and I only had seconds to make it to the train before it left. And that was the last trend of the night. So, crazy things do happen. And if you want proof, well, I've got classmates who were there telling me to go. And, you know, I felt like I should not try to get up and run because that would be crazy. But I had no choice. There was absolutely no choice in that scenario. I had to run. I asked someone if they could ride me, but, you know, I had to save money. I couldn't afford to waste money and I was solid with everything I was doing the alcohol manipulated my responses but didn't alter who I was personality wise but the thing is I don't know how it affects other people that's my experiences it hasn't affected me in the same way it would affect everyone else I don't know what would happen if I had drugs I feel like they would be the one thing I know I couldn't cope with because I do have a peak in which if I get too stressed out I will punch things, I will knock things down, I will destroy things. And that is why I find myself one of those people that will have those problems in the long run. Like you know people, they'll eventually see you angry and have all these issues and think you need medical help but you know you have this problem but there's people pressuring you and when you're under pressure you'd make the do these stupid things I've only ever done it like 12 times in my life and that's pretty much once per year some at one time it was like a lot like three times in a day and a couple of times it was two times in a day that I had pressure on me that sort of thing but anyway guys I am baffled on how this can happen. It's mind-boggling for all of us. And many of you will probably won't believe what I have to say. Many of you won't believe what other people have to say. But the thing is, you 
have to be willing to go the distance to stay with someone that's probably going to eventually hook up to you and start abusing you or whatever. And it's, I personally do not want to stick around to be abused. I do not want to stick around for lies. But I will stick around if the truth is revealed and there was lies in the community that messed up someone's career. But I will not lie. There is one guy that I'm sticking by because, you know, I know the truth behind him and I know he's a naturally funny person and that was Basher first. So, Basher, if you ever see this video, I want you to know, mate, that I can tell you're an honest and good person and I believe people should be allowed to follow you and not be scared because, well, it's obvious, though some people will see it differently to how I see it, I know, because to me it's obvious you're a good person and naturally you can be very, very funny. Even though you haven't been as funny as I've seen you be in recent years and recent days, you know, I know you can probably get back to where you were at one day and you know, even though I have my thing, like, you're not entertaining me anymore, I'll just stick by you, okay? So, I, I'll let everyone go now. Thank you all for watching, and please stay safe. It is important for you to look after yourself, your family, your friends, and anyone who needs support. Thank you, everybody. Please like, comment. And feel free to subscribe whenever you're ready. Bye, everyone. And I'm sorry, I'm looking at the video and I look like an idiot. I look like I'm on drugs. Freaking hell. <laughs> I, I don't. Bye.